Hello, viewer, and welcome to Games with Dialogue. This is a look at a couple of demos from the Goblin Studio team, or at least from the publisher of Goblin Studios. Uh, some of you may know they have been very good to me with uh, some free game keys for my channel. It's a promotional thing, but I figured because of the Steam Summer Sale, because these demos are available now, at least for a week, that I would give a look at them, at these demos, as far as the eye and the other two that are coming to the channel this week. I want to clarify that I've played through this before, and this won't be a first impressions video. This is uh, just to give you all a look at the game. So normally, what I would do with a demo is split it up into one or two videos to take a look at it. But I think this will just be one full, complete look at what the game offers. Uh, not available in this demo. Not available in this demo. Not available in this demo. Okay. Well, this looks like difficulty level, right? Two stars, three stars, two stars. Yeah, the north looks like it's the roughest because you don't have fish or meat. All right. Well, we'll be doing this one. Anyways, let's dive in and look at as far as the eye. So the tutorials, uh, I really don't need, but we'll go through them very quickly just for everybody else. Welcome to As Far As The Eye. You have activated the basic tutorial. You can deactivate it in the options menu. This is not a game of speed, but of optimization. Take your time. The scout is back and they have shown the tribe the paths the tribe can take. Yeah, okay. Each trip is different and includes several halts, which are these things in the center here. With this map, you can anticipate the costs of journeys that allow the tribe to reach the next halt. Hovering the mouse over a dotted trip lets you know the cost of the trip. Okay. You get a glimpse of the next halt and what it has in store for you when you hover over it. Okay. The big beast on the first halt is where your caravan starts its journey. Start your journey, click left on the first halt. Well, these won't be important right now you, you I'm really you won't know what it's asking for you so let's just go the water rises the wave arrives the tribe must leave each halt includes a limited number of turns you must complete your objective and depart for the halt before the water reaches your campsite so you have a limited number of turns 118 to get the resources I'll just jump back here to get the resources at uh, along this path you can choose whichever one you want but you have to have those resources by the time the turns over otherwise you fail uh, so we'll go back to here here's the tribes caravan it is a game unit you can select it by clicking on it right you can plan a move action on your caravan by selecting it and right clicking on a hexagon note units have a limited number of movement points that you can check in the selection window so, uh, there's also two other things over here for moving the camera and selecting actions and everything. So we'll just uh, try to decide where I want to be. No resources, no resources, no resource. Let's move over here. Go in the turn and trigger the planned action. Click. Normally, I would just settle right away, but we want we want some space around us. Also, if I had settled there, I would have lost these resources. Let's settle here. Just so we can get our pupils out. These characters are the pupils. They are the ones who gather resources, construct buildings, produce food, and explore. Each pupil is a game unit that you can select by left-clicking on it. I find it easiest to just select the balloons. Or on their balloon and then put it into action with the right click. So, I have Noiki, or... Neok. I I'm going to call him Noiki. Uh, Soniv. And Akamas. Now, right now, I don't think any of them are good at anything. If you come over here to the job window... Oh, let me get rid of this. 
and select on them. None of them have anything highlighted, so they're all blank slates right now. To build buildings and harvest resources, you must assign, with the right click, your pupils to harvest wood. For this, select, left click a pupil and right click on the caravan, then click on the button. So right now, I don't have any way of collecting any resources except by clicking on the caravan and choosing one of these actions. Uh, this potion and this plant will heal, but I don't have to worry about that. Everybody's got full health. So, let's go with wood. We're gonna need wood. So let's start with that. I also might need pepkins. But we can worry about that later. We kind of need wood right now. So everybody's assigned a job now. I click end turn. They all turn into gatherers. And they go harvesting wood. The thing is... Everybody can only harvest one tech, hex. I can't have two people in the same hex. So... That's why they split up like that. Which is fine. It's just one of them has to travel farther than the others. Alright, they're all ready to turn in. And back they go. The problem is... He might have to go further, but he has to walk across a hex that costs two movement points. So, he'll be slower to get back and forth. So, when I have the ability to get him away from gathering wood, I should, because he's taking the most time. It would be better spent elsewhere. To know your goals, open the map and click on one of the paths to take. Right, and I can change which one I want at any time. If I decide I want to do this one, I can decide later, before I get all three resources, that I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to do this one instead. Or maybe I want to do this one instead. This one I'm already completed, I just need the wool. The goal you aim for in order to leave this halt appears here. You can choose the goal among the dotted trips that go directly from the current location of the caravan. At any time you can look at the map and assess the cost of the paths. To accomplish your objective, you're going to need to construct buildings. To do this, go to the construction menu accessible via the build button in the pupil selection window. With the necessary construction resources, you'll be able to lay the foundations of a building and the pupil you have selected will go there and start building turn after turn, which is the moon symbol. Maybe I want to go to this one. It seems to be the easiest, I just have to gather wool. Wool I can get from these llamas. So that would seem to be the best way to do it. I need to keep my food up. The thing with food is, it gets consumed every turn. And if I'm going to build buildings, I'm going to lose wood. So it's a balancing act. Uh, I think I have enough wood to actually build something. So who turned their wood in? Going to work. All right. So yeah, let's select a building. Let's set up a sawmill. So we don't have to worry about these two gathering wood. The sawmill actually increases the efficiency of that. So these two are gathering wood while he's building. When he's done, I can assign one of them to the sawmill. Now select a pupil and right click on the building, then choose the resource to start harvesting it. Um, Noiki, I'll have you be the sawmill person. Do I have enough wood for another building? Llamas. 100 wood. I do. I could put it right there, but instead... Maybe I want to explore. Right, I did that. Uh, yeah, maybe I want to explore. Let's see if there's any more llamas over here. We'll go over this way. If I'm gonna build a building over here, we might as well go over this way. A commas. <coughs> a commas. I think we need food. We need to start worrying about food. When I played the demo to see what the game was like, just so I wasn't struggling to play it for you guys, I died because of lack of food. So we need to be on that ball right away. There's peppercorns over there. Paprikas. Pepkins, that's what they call it, right. 
There's pepkins over there. There's pepkins over there with the llamas. The birds will produce food. No resources. No... Well, resources, but I can't gather them. Stone. I'll go explore over here. Sure. We'll, we'll send some people out while we have our lumberjack gathering things up. Okay. Mountain. Bog. No resources. More pepkins. These, like I said, are used for healing. We don't really need to worry about that just yet. I could send him down here. He's going over here. I'm going to change it. Come over here. You. I don't know. Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. More llamas. Well, that's good. If the space over here is open, like a field, then I can build a shearer and just start going to town on the llamas. Yeah, it looks like it's open over there. You, on the other hand, have a lot of empty space over here. All right, I'll send you over this way. So I'm gonna build... I'm gonna build a pasture, and we'll put it... Huh. If I put it right here, then I can get these two easily enough in this one. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, our lumberjack is still going to town over here. All right, what do we got? Lake, no resources, llamas, paprikas, paprikas, pepkins. I don't know why I keep calling it paprika. Uh, I want... Let's go up and around. How about? There's not really anything dangerous that I need to worry about. No wild animals that will attack my explorer. Uh, there are effects that will spawn. Weather, mostly, that can hurt them. But... That will give me a warning before it happens, so I have time to avoid it. So, I can be a little risky pushing him out into the field. Really, it's just about finding... Trying to find other pupils that I can recruit. Or other pack animals that I can attach to my caravan. Because right now... Right now, I can only have three pupils doing something. Oh, wait. He's just sitting there, not doing anything? Okay. Yeah, uh, come up here. That should give me exposure to these two. Oh, oh, he's done building. He's done building. Okay. Yeah, start gathering wool there, buddy. Turn into a gatherer. There we go. Awesome. Ah, I missed the one space. What are the odds that has the pack animal I want? Right. No? And no resources, so it was a waste of a turn. Great! Anyways, my pack animal can have three pupils on it. Uh, there's a way to get more, but I need this resource, knowledge points, in order to do that. Or I can find a pack animal to add to the caravan. I don't really need to worry about that yet, because I only have three pupils. But if I manage to find other pupils to recruit... They can't do anything. They don't have any jobs that they can apply for or work on if I don't have the room in the caravan. Which you can tell from up here. Number of pupils, number of workers, number of homes. Pupils with no jobs. Uh, right now I have one because he's just exploring, but I have a maximum of three. If I had four pupils, one of them would be out of luck. Uh, also, I moused over this real quick. Explore these vestiges to discover a positive or negative random effect. By selecting a pupil, then right-clicking on the vestige. I could send an herbalist to analyze the remains to find out the effects, or a druid to make the negative effects positive. If I come over here, you can see there's a druid here. Uh, herbalist... Herbalist is this line right here, which should go right there, but um, most of these aren't unlocked yet. As your characters go through and do things, they earn s 
skill, I guess, is a good way to put it. Skill in a job. But then I have to build... I, I have to meet certain specific conditions to upgrade their jobs. So... Noiki over here, being a wood gatherer, is building up skill in wood cutting. Um, Sovin over here, as a farmer, is building up that. And poor Akamas up here, being a, an explorer, is not really getting any skills. But that's okay. That's okay. And, yeah, this is basically how it goes in the beginning. I mean, I'm probably wasting a commas. He could probably be gathering or doing something. But as I'm exposing the map, I'm understanding what options I have. Oh, here's a friendly not yet met. Now, the thing is, I usually get three options when meeting with a caravan. Let's come over here and say hello and see what options we have. Sometimes they'll ask for resources as a trade but he's gonna move up here, so I want to be, I want to be up there. Uh, but I don't really have the resources to trade with anything. They usually have another. They usually have another pupil that they offer up, which I would love to pick up, but I only have room for three, and I haven't found another pack animal, so I have no way of upgrading my caravan. Yeah, I want to say hello. Yeah, and then help. The druid of the caravan is fond of your tribe and its feats and gives six healing potions to heal your pupils in case of illness. It's probably the best option here. I don't want to give away food for wood. I'm perfectly fine on food for now. And I'm doing well on wood gathering. Which, I mean... Stoli's tribe is struggling to feed everyone. Stoli and Herbalist 3 is willing... Yeah. Uh, except that I don't have 50 Pepkins because I sent a Kamis to explore rather than gather. So, help. Sure. Well, that's great. I missed out. I missed out on recruiting somebody. I mean, what else was he... He wasn't going to do me any favors. I can't assign him a job. A Kamis would ex be exploring... And I would have an Herbalist 3 who could do... what? I don't know. Nothing. Sit there at camp and twiddle his fingers. Alright. Well... I was hoping for a pack animal somewhere, but it looks like I'm stuck with three people. And only three people. Oh, there it is! Hello? What do I need? Pack animal. Yeah, alright. I will... Oh, no, no, no! No, no! That was, uh... Who did I assign to do that? Returning resources. Going to work. Going to be a farmer. Oh, he has to run back, change jobs, and then go... Yeah, alright. Sure. Sure. Somebody would have to run over there, change jobs, and go over to tame the pack animal. I might as well be him. He's done exploring the map. Okay, do I have enough wood that I can just lay off for the time being? I think so. 246 gathering. Oh, she's already exhausted the... Wow, she did. Okay, all right, all right. Um, let me see. She's already done that pretty well. She's building up to this one. I could have her go pick up Pepkins now. Just to keep the uh, harvest cycle running. But I want to see what else I can build here. Quarry, mine. Do I have anything? Stone there. I need ore. Right there. What else? Is that it on the map? For ore? Oh man, I am in... Woof! That's it for the ore? Oh boy. Oh, no. Oh, well, there's one right there, too. Um, do I need ore? Yeah, if I want to do this one, I need ore. The thing is, a lot of the really good things need ore. Maybe I should push... 
I don't want to push her into it. Or them. I don't want to push Noiki into, uh, into being a, uh, stone cutter. Uh, Sylvan, you're working on Shepard? I suppose I could back off on that. It's 120. And you already have experience building. You know what, Akamas? Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to... I'm going to put you as a miner. Real quick, just to build this. Let's see. This one is resource, and this one is resource. So, split the difference? She'll have to run... She'll have to run... They will have to run around to this mountain. Or I could destroy this forest. Or I could put it right here. Then go there, and then go there. I don't like that either way. If I put it there... Two, one... Two, four, to there. Boo. Alright, whatever. It's behind him, so... Alright, whatever. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Sure, alright. I think maybe I should pick up a little more wood, because buildings cost so much to make. I'm gonna need... I think I'm gonna need a building to tame... The pack animal. So I should probably keep gathering wood. Alright. Go back to being job change. Alright. Okay. Noiki's got what Noiki needs. I'm gonna start... No, you know what? I'm gonna keep her going. Them. I'm gonna keep them going on wood gathering. Oh, which means I don't have to worry about the ore right now. But, oh man, I need those knowledge points to start coming in so I can buy upgrades. Yeah, I'm also starting to run low on... Um, I'm starting to chunk through my food pretty bad. Somebody's going to have to start... Somebody is going to have to start gathering food. Uh, Sovin, when you're done there, I'm gonna have you build a cookhouse and just work on that for a little bit. Oh, well, no. Never mind. That's... There's no point in doing that because I don't have any food resources. So I should start gathering food resources. Alright, how am I gonna do that? I have a lot of meat on the field. A lot of meat on the field. What about fish? Not quite as much. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna have you build... Wait, did you turn in those? Before I do that. Going to work. Yeah. Alright. Let's have you build a... Hunting lodge. And they will start harvesting. Good. Alright. I'll put you right there. You're surrounded by meat. This shouldn't be a problem. Just run over there, build the building, we'll be fine. You're still gathering wood? As soon as she depletes this resource, I'll rotate her off of the wood gathering. He's over here. Returning resource is good, he's got the pack animal. Alright. Fantastic. Oh, it looks like she's deleted- just deleted it. Depleted it. So, that answers that question. I'll just plop the, uh, extension to my caravan down there. Or I could put it right there and gather pepkins. She's all out. She's all done, though. What are we looking at, Noiki? What are we looking at? Did you f No! Ah! Oh, that's annoying. I need to start generating knowledge points. I'm gonna gather pepkins. Uh, I'm gonna gather pepkins. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Who doesn't have... Oh, because he, he finished building. Okay. Let's gather food. 
I need to gather food so I can start making rations so that I can keep this above 270 so I can get out of here. You're coming down with the pet. You're gathering pepkins. That's fine. Okay. Actually... Actually... Pepkins are kind of a waste. Uh, when I have the opportunity... When she's finished, I'll show you why I say that. Okay. She's finished. I'll show you why I say that. Because... My cookhouse and my bakery both don't give me the ability to make anything with pepkins. I have to wait until somebody is a baker or a chef before they can make use of it. Baker and chef are upgrades, so they have to go up through the skill tree to get there. So it is kind of a waste of time. I'm only really doing it for Noiki so that she can get done with the harvest cycle. But, I mean, because otherwise the option for her, options for her are to run over to this jungle or all the way over here to this forest, which is just wasting time. Really. Really. So, I'll just keep her going on the pepkins for now. All right, Akamis. You're really not good at anything. I'm kind of just having you split off. I think I'll have you be my builder and my miner, Akamis. So, let's assign you to the mine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, a caravan? Where did... Where did the... Uh-oh. Where'd the little guy go? Oh, I have to build it. Right. I have to build the extension to the caravan. That's right. That's right. So, I'll hold off on that until she gets her second tier of skill as the gatherer. Oh! We got a friend coming in. Maybe I'll just have you talk to them first. Alright, Noiki, did you get... Yes. Great. Now whenever she harvests, she'll get 15 points. Unfortunately, I'm pulling her off the harvest to go say hello. And, uh... Well, you know what? It looks like they're traveling this direction. Why don't we instead... Noiki, why don't we build an extension to our camp? Allowing pupils to work... If the total pupil population is greater than the number of available spots in the camp, some pupils won't be assigned jobs. I already explained that to you guys. Or, every one of these four requires a pack animal. Since I only have one pack animal, it would make sense to upgrade my camp rather than the market, the council, or the workshop, right? And, of course, it requires resources. Thank goodness I have enough. But that means I'm going to need to uh, that means I'm going to need to recover more wood and more wool. Whatever. I want this. I want this so I can get more people. Oh. It looks like It looks like I'm going to have to go say hi to them anyways. They're not traveling in a straight line. How are you doing on gathering there, Sovin? How what's our food look like? 80. Alright, but we're chunking through our ration pretty fast, so I'm a little worried. We're gonna need a cookhouse. Oh! Oh! Right, Noiki's done. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I can get a plus one housing already! Which would give me five, but I don't need to worry about that. So what else can I gather? I can go back to gathering wood, which it looks like I need. I need more wool, but we have somebody over here who's harvesting food. I think I need to build a cookhouse, you guys. Uh, cookhouse? Is that the one that uses meat? Fish and meat. I'm gonna need ore. Well, alright then. 
or stone if I want to make it a mobile building that I can take with me in the future. I could get stone. Normally, I would go for that over the permanent building. But this is a demo, and I not the full game, so building a mobile building doesn't really make sense since I'm not taking it with me. I still need ore, though. Which is what Akamas is doing. So I should get wood. What else can I do here? I could build a farm, but I don't have enough people to bother with the farm. Also, I shouldn't split my food intake between between hunting, fishery, and farm. Not unless I have more people. Yeah, I'll just keep gathering wood. It's fine. I'll just keep gathering wood. Okay. You turn that in. Go say hi. All right, this caravan seeks trade. They also, they can offer you food for wood. Oh, that might be worth it. Stoli's tribe for 50 pep. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. I want that new person. So I want Stoli since I missed him last time. All right, Akamas, go back to gathering. Now Stoli is an herbalist three, which means this is already full. Um, but I really don't need the healing plants, really. People can now analyze sacred sites. What I want is the druid. A druid can harvest mushrooms and the healing plant via dispensary. A druid can also analyze remains, sacred sites, and calm auras. Requires herbalist three, which Stoli is, and a dispensary, which I would need to build. Can I build a dispensary? Do I have what it takes? Yeah. Wood and wool. That's a lot of wool, though. I really need to rotate somebody back onto wool. Maybe maybe after I build the dispensary and get Stoli into the druid line, I can have him go gathering wool. Where am I going to build a dispensary, though? Where around here is a good place to gather... Well, these are right there. But there's no mushrooms like there are right there. I am actually kind of in a bad position for all of my resources. Well... Mushrooms... I guess, really... The best place to put it... Well, they could be over here, right? Let's have Stoli go... Let's have Stoli go explore. Because there might be some good stuff over here. I was wrong. There is, however, an aura which a druid could help me with. This resource cannot be harvested while within the aura. Pupils who harvest other resources in the area are 50% less efficient. Select the aura to know its range. Oh, boy. So it's just these... There's no stone here. But if anybody tries to harvest, it's going to be slow. So, that's great. Alright, you know what? I don't need to build that dispensary right away. Let's go back to harvesting wool. I know he's an herbalist. But he can, he can pivot away from that for the time being to help me out. Alright. So then we just keep doing that until we build a cookhouse and get one of these people on cooking duty. Who would that be? If I had to sacrifice somebody for cooking, it would probably be Stoli, actually. Sobin up here is gathering food. Akamas is gathering ore, which is very important to me, since we're kind of behind on that. And Noiki is gathering wood, which I'm going to continuously need. Hmm, let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep going in this direction. 
Uh, Stoli. Stoli, I'm gonna have you build a cookhouse. Ah, oh, I forgot. I forgot. A Kamas is not gathering that fast enough. Alright, yeah. One more turn, he should be. But by then, Stoli will be gathering wool. Oh well. Yeah, he has to go so far for the mine. That's that's a huge problem for me. That's a huge problem for me. Alright. The spirits gather in sacred sites to collect offerings and prayers. The sacred sites of this halt are no longer of any use to the pupils. Well... Six... In, within six turns. Okay, so... I could still get access to a sacred site. But... In six turns, I won't be able to. That's not a big deal for the aura. The remains... It could be... A good thing or a bad thing. If I leave it alone, it doesn't change anything. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just keep going. All right. Stoli managed to get me some more wool. I now have enough ore. Let's build me that cookhouse. Where am I going to put it, you? Right on top of that food there? Right on top of the paprikas? Pepkins. I don't know why I call it paprika. I can put it real close to the food generation. I'm gonna put it on top of the pepkins. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not using the pepkins, really. So it's fine. Alright. And then everybody's just generating their things. I'm gonna have Sovin continue to go for food as long as he can. Just because the exchange rate between how much meat it takes to turn into rations is kind of high and I need to keep my rations going yeah yeah so this is good for the time being until something changes I think Noiki is gonna run out of wood before I have what I need uh oh oh yeah 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 because Stoli's done all right 10 fish for 18 rations. Yeah, that's fine. Is that enough? Who? How much rations is each member of my team eating? That's what I want to know. Oh, somebody's generating knowledge points now. Excellent. I bet that's Noiki, right? Noiki, where are you on the... Okay. Negative one food consumption per turn. I wish everybody could get that. 10% recipe efficiency. Well, Stoli's going to be working on that. I hope. I hope. Sovin. Sovin's my best builder, but I'm also having him harvest. He'll go up to knowledge points and then an extra five. All right. So at some point... <coughs> At some point, Sovin will be gathering more food than I'm wasting, so that's good. But I still need to get my cooking efficiency up. Akamis, you're not really good at anything, are you? I should have him cooking. Holy moly. Well, hopefully Akamis will eventually get down to this one. Because right now he's wasting... A heck of a lot of time moving through mountains. Alright. Yeah, we'll just keep everybody going on what they're doing. I guess. Keep an eye out for new caravans coming through for more people. I can always... Uh-oh. And that's it. Yep, it activates. So now those sacred sites are off limits to me. I can always upgrade this again by wasting some wool and some wood. Wasting's a a wasting's the wrong term to use, but I can upgrade my housing if I get a fifth person. I don't have to worry about finding another pack animal. Can I upgrade anything yet? I need knowledge points. Yeah, there's no way. Look at this. The cheapest one is 400, and that's just extra room. Yeah, there's no way. 
I there it's gonna be a while before I upgrade anything with knowledge points. Uh, you know what? I want to look at this again. The I'm on the right track with this. Wool's doing well. Mining could be better, but that will improve. Uh, what about you? Oh, I just need wood, and I can jump right there. All right. Well, Noiki's working on it. What's this? The resource required for the journey to the next halt has been removed from your stock. No! No, I didn't... No, I'm not... Oh, you sucked it all up like a vacuum cleaner and I wasn't ready for it. I just wanted to see what it required. The tribe can only take a limited amount of resources to the next halt and must organize it. No! All right, well, it's just a demo and we'll get to see what happens when you move on. The problem is... None of my buildings are mobile, so I'm leaving all of those generators behind. Click on one of the resources to extract a stack and place it in your caravan. When the tribe is ready, click leave. Can I cancel? Do I get those back? I do. Alright, so I'm ready to go to this one, actually. That's good to know. And then I need wood for this one. So, medium ancient forest or medium ancient forest. Okay. But I am ready to go, if I wanted to. I want to get more wood, though. I don't know... Now that I know that I can go, I'm I'm debating whether or not to make some mobile buildings to take with me. Yeah, because we're only halfway there. I thought this... I thought the episode would go for the whole day. Or the whole... time. But... If we could leave now, we could see what happens when you move on to a new area. Um, I'm going to let... I'm going to keep cooking with Stoli, I think. Yeah. Alright. Sovin. Sovin's good. Let's see if we can't build something with Sovin. What do we got? So... What would we want to take with us? A dispensary? Because then I could upgrade Stoli into a druid immediately. I don't have enough ore. Do I have enough ore for any? I don't have enough. I don't have enough resources for any. Oh God! Stone and ore. Stone and ore. Stone and ore. What about you guys? Ooh. Yeah, I kind of need that ore. I kind of need that ore. But taking a saw mill with me would let me place it down immediately. Without having to waste time. But... Out of the resources that I want to uh, begin gathering right away, Sawmill's the least. Uh... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna plop down a Sawmill. Yeah. I'm gonna plop down a Sawmill. We're gonna send... Returning resources. We're gonna send Noiki over to it to work on it. Uh, and then once we, we replace the ore that we sacrificed to build that, we'll head out. Which should only take me one turn, I hope. Fingers crossed. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Noiki's not doing anything. Noiki, where are you right now on the... Uh, about halfway there. All right. Thomas, where are you in your attempt to get better? Not good. Not good. What about Sovin? <sighs> Still working on it. All right. And Stoli, I know you're not going to go anywhere. Um, are you cooking? Stovin? Stoli? Are you cooking? Waiting for resources. Fish. No! What about meat? You have plenty of meat. Why are you not... Oh, it's because I selected the wrong one. Oh. Okay. Alright. That's my fault. That's my fault. I... I wasn't paying any attention. Alright, yes. Continue. Damaged path in six turns. The scout of a caravan, a little further along than you, comes to warn your tribe. The roads ahead have been damaged by an earthquake. It will take more resources than expected to travel them. The objectives to be met to leave the halt are 20% more important. Did it get worse, or in six turns it will get worse? A vagary will soon declare itself on this halt. 
Vagaries are events with difficult consequences for pupils. They can be anticipated a few turns in advance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hover your mouse over vagary to get more information. Right. I mean, you, sh you could have told me that with the uh, Sacred Sites thing that came up. I have six turns. I have six turns to get more ore and get out of here. That's fine. At least one pupil has nothing to do. Oh. Well, the sawmill's still constructing, so Noiki, I'm going to send you back to the sawmill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Noiki, go, go gather that sawmill. Oh, oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Why? Ah. Oh. Waste of a turn. Waste of a turn. Ha, ah, boy. Now that I have two sawmills, I could assign two separate people to work on them. I could have somebody down here at this one, and I can have somebody up here at this one. But... I want the food. I want the meat as a resource that I can bring with me in the future. And I need the food, because every turn that passes, I eat up some food. Uh, how many turns do I have left? Three. I have to keep my fingers crossed that Noiki can get what I need before that turn ends. Alright, two. One. No, because I wasted a turn. Boo! Alright, let's get out of here. Do I have enough? I have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Oh, I made things worse for myself. Oh, I made things worse for myself. That vagary is going to hit. Well, that's my fault. Yeah, that's my fault. All right, so how... What's the damage here? Oh, not, not a whole lot worse. I need a little more wool, which means somebody's going to have to go back to doing that. Sovin, I'm going to send you back to doing that. Yeah, because he's cooking. Keeping our food supplies up. He's getting me ore, which is important. She's gathering wood, which I messed up needing. Alright. Any new trapper coming, uh, caravan coming through? No? 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 No. Alright. During the cold spell, wood consumption of dispensaries, cookhouses, and bakeries has increased. Lakes and bogs freeze over. Pupils cannot collect fish. The soil itself freezes. All right. Each turn, a pupil has a chance of falling ill. Well, we'll be out of here before that happens. Eleven turns? Yeah. All right. Where am I? I need wood. I have enough wool. I don't have enough wool. I don't have enough wood. I don't have enough wool or... That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But one of these I could probably complete in the next couple of turns. I hope. Anyways, I'm gathering wood as fast as my little fingers will let me. 135. Still not enough. Okay. Just got the wood. He turned it in. I might have enough now. Let's see. Nope. 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 Alright, well. Uh, it was dumb of me to do that, but... Really, all it did was extend how long this video was going to be. I'm, I'm in a safe position right now. I'm still okay. Oh, never mind. 11 turns goes by super fast. Is anybody going to be able to save me in the next two turns? You have gathered all the resources necessary. Okay. All right. All right. We're going. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter where we're going. Do I want this one? Big rainforest, medium, medium. Rainforest. All right. Yeah, we'll go. So what are we taking with us? A sawmill, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tetris. I'm, I'm excellent at Tetris. This will be a piece of cake. 
Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, this will be a piece of cake. Can I take this with me? The extra... Do I just get this? The extra pack animal? Yeah, look at this. Piece of cake. We'll probably put it right there, actually. Uh, rations. We're gonna need plenty. Oh, I see. Alright, every 100 is a... Okay, alright. I'm learning. I'm learning. And an extra 100 there. We'll take what's left of the ore, because that's a pain in the butt. We'll take what's left of the food. Put it right there. I don't need those. I really don't. They were kind of a free thing, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright. I don't have enough room for that, but I do have enough room for one thing else. Wood. Pepkins I don't care about because I can't use them for anything. So, wood. Alright. What about food? Do I have enough? No. No. Leave? Yes. Good. Your tribe has traveled to the second halt. Select your objective and click on the halt where your caravan is. What do we need for the next part? Wool, food, stone. Alright. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. Did I not bring... Did I not bring it with me? Can't settle on this type of terrain. Well, let's move over here then. Did I not bring the pack animal with me, or is it part of the bundle now? Hmm. I don't know. I, I have to waste two turns to get here, though. Uh, we will settle here. Each turn, each pupil consumes six rations. When there are no more rations, the pupils consume pepkins. When there are no more food, the pupils fall ill. They get called by the sigh and disappear. Produce rations, you can build production facilities. Right, right, right. These buildings use wood and harvest. Right, right, right. All right. Stoli. We have a few things floating around. Sacred site. Explore the sacred site to retrieve or exchange resources there. Send an herbalist or druid to analyze the site to know its effects. Oh, all right. Well, hey, Stoli. Guess what? We're going to have you analyze. I still need to know... If I can lay down... Where are... Well... Shoot! I don't want to get rid of the food. I don't want to get rid of the wood. I don't want to get rid of the wool. Oh! The paprikas. Alright. Where... Do I have the ability... Do I have the ability to set down the sawmill? Uh... Sovin... I'm going to have you go straight into the llamas. Noiki, you're going to be... Oh. She's she's maxed out. I could have her go fruit gatherer or woodcutter. I'm going to have her go woodcutter. Let's see. I need a sawmill. Okay. I have a sawmill. I just need to know where to put the sawmill. Noiki. I need to find you. There we are. Can I deploy the... Oh, here we are. Fantastic. I need to know where to put it. Harvest on this hex is... Oh, God. Oh, man. The aura is right there. I walked right into it. Like a dummy. Maybe I can put it on the hill. Noiki. How do I unpack... How do I unpack the sawmill? How do I... Hmm, this is annoying. Oh, oh, I see. It... Right. Here or here. Well, that's surrounded by trees. That's where you're going. Um... So then, what do I want you to do? Wool or food? I think... I think we need wood, so I'm going to have you go gathering wood. 
Akamis, same with you. We need enough wood to build... Oh, pupils without housing can't work. Right. Right. I need to unpack... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sovan, I need to unpack the camp. Which sucks. Food and wood? Oh, man. Shoot. That sucks. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have you go explore while we unpack everything. God, that sucks. All right. Yeah, he's uh, analyzing. He's building. They're going to build. Okay. Akamas, I'm going to have you come over here. You have nothing to do. Sovin. I don't think I have enough wood to build. So... I'm going to send you to gather wood. Because I need it. First thing I need to do is build... Something to gather wool. I also hope I can find another pack animal. But... When I have enough wood, I can just upgrade the housing. So if we manage to get another person... Yeah. Yeah, if we manage to get another person, we'll be set. I'm gonna send you up there. Okay. Are you still working on that? Analyzing, gathering, that's done. Alright, get right to work, Noiki. Okay. There it is! Pack animal! Uh, which means he has to go... Oh god, I can... Oh god! Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to kill this poor defenseless creature for food? He's gonna have to run all the way back, turn into a... thing. A new job to get the pack animal. That's all right. Oh, wait. Oh, you're done. To analyze the sacred site to know its effects. Did you not successfully do that? Oh, okay. Sacred site. A caravan of pupils passes through this area. Exchange with this group can be fruitful. This caravan seeks trade. No. Dolly's tribe. No. Wait a minute. What? I think this might be a bug. All right. Well, it is a demo and they did warn us, but we know what's going to go on here. So, Stoli, I want you to become a druid, but in order to do that, I need a dispensary, which I don't want to waste resources building. So, let's make you a cook, because we're rapidly running out of food, uh, which means you need to build a cookhouse which we don't have enough wood for. Okay. Gather wood, Stoli. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. We have a goal now. As much as I hate the fact that we're running rapidly running out of food. Um, once we have enough wood to make a cookhouse, looks like we do now. So, then, as soon as you're done gathering, because you're probably going to be done before Stoli, I'll turn. I'll make you build a cookhouse. And then I'll send Stoli to cook. There we go. Alright. So, then, I need you to build that cookhouse. We'll put it. It doesn't matter where we put it, it's just a cookhouse. There we go. And then you're going over here to cook. All right, you're gathering wood down there. Good girl. Good, well, Noiki. I, I'm assuming you're a girl because of the pink, but you could be anything. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I have the resources. I could upgrade the sawmill. I think it's worth it, honestly, because then I can move on to plus one per turn for every adjacent forest. She's going to deplete the forest, so this won't be good forever. But, I think it's worth it. Because she's the only one generating wood right now. So, alright. Gain a multiplier. Thank goodness. Alright. 
Stoli, I don't know. You can't help build, can you? Why don't you check out what this tile down here is? I might get lucky with what it Oh, God, no. I did it again. It doesn't take that long to build a building. All right, Stoli. Go cook, please. Sovin. Sovin, I really need... I need wool, is what I need, but I also need food. I need wood so I can build... Alright, how much wood do I need to build the pasture? A hundred. A hundred. Alright. So... I mean, harvest, I guess. Oh, well, if you're going to do that, then harvest right there. I didn't think you were going to have to run back. I mean, I should have known he was going to have to run back, but... Uh, alright, you're picking up the pack animal, thank you. I got those spaces that could have anything in them. Anything at all. Another sacred site I need to send... So well, no, no. Soli, Stoli, you're going to need to generate food. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to start starving if you don't. Okay, a commas. We got the other animal. Can I put down... Yeah, but it's going to require wool and wood, which I don't want to do. You know what? I should set the mine down immediately. I should set the mine down immediately. The wool will just have to wait. I need that ore. Do I have a place to put the ore? Oh, well, there's one. And that's really just it. Oh. You know what? No. No, 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 no. No, my first priority should be harvesting creatures. Hunting. Ah, uh, alright. Well, there's there, there's there. There's a whole bunch over here. He'll have to go pretty far afield for it. One, two, three. But then he'll... Oh, and this one. Yeah, alright. Sure. Sure. It's gonna be cutting it close if I don't starve to death. What are my goal? What's my goal? I, I really should have selected it. Uh, wool, food, yeah, and stone. Okay. So, as important as ore is, I need stone. Which means I need wood to build a quarry. I also need wool, which means I need wood to build a shearer. Bored and sad not to be practicing a job while coming into contact with the spirits of nature, each pupil not working in harvest, production, or construction. Harvest, production, or construction. So my cook, basically. Oh, man. All right. All right. I'm going to have to rotate Stoli off of cooking. Harvest, production. Does that mean hunting doesn't count? I wonder... I wonder. Harvest, harvest. Harvest, harvest. Alright. Uh, I have to assume, if they're called harvesting, that it applies to them. Alright, let's see here. How many turns do I have for that? Five. Alright. A commas. We have 190 now. Who is my hunter? Thomas is my... Stone worker. Well, also my shearer, so I'll have him build some shearers. Pasture. Where am I going to put him, though? There's not a whole lot of options. Yeah, I'll put him on top of the pepkins. So there's some there, there's some there. And that's pretty much it. Ugh, it's bad. This aura. Well, everything's just so scattered here. Okay, alright. Who is gathering... Sovin. 
Sovin, I need to rotate off of that into hunting. I don't have a hunter's... Oh, wait. It's right there. All right. All right. As soon as Sovin is done with that, I'll rotate them off. And they're done. Good. Go hunt. All right. How many more turns do I have? One. So... Stoli's going to need to rotate off of that. Stoli... What can I do for you, Stoli? What can I what can I do for you? I guess technically production is on the cookhouse, right? They're producing food. I have to hope that's the case. Bored and sad. Anybody? Oh, because he Oh. Dang it. Not close enough. And now he's sick. Well, that's okay. One isn't so bad. I mean, it's bad. People's already doing that. So who's... Oh! Akamas. Akamas got stuck with it, huh? Alright, Akamas. Start shearing that llamas. Oh, come on! You ran up there to do it? I thought you'd go over here. Well, at least he explored a little more. What is this? Oh, man! Right on top of the... Oh, man. I need somebody to pacify that, but I don't have anybody. Yeah, he's gonna take forever. Maybe I should hold off. Yeah, you know what? Go pacify that. You're gonna take forever shearing if I don't pacify it. Okay, somebody's hunting, because I'm rapidly running out of food. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, we still have... We still have 203 turns to get enough wool and enough stone. The problem with the stone is... I don't really see... I don't really see a place where they're... Maybe it's all over here or up here. I might be in trouble with the stone. I might just not have enough. I need food, though. I need food so bad. Everybody doing what they need to do? Okay. Trapper. Gatherer. Waiting for resources. Oh, no. We are going to starve. Yeah, look. We're all sick now. Oh, man. Alright. Maybe I need to build another lodge. Another cookhouse. They're already doing that. Alright, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, are you cooking? Okay. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. We're start. We're all starving. Uh oh. Oh, you've pacified it. Okay. Renderance influence positive. Uh, I wonder if it still takes me forever to shear the wool. I hope not. While doing a checkup of the caravan buildings, a pupil realizes that a building has partially collapsed and is out of order. All right. In six turns, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I've got a bigger problem right now, and that's food production. People are sick. I'm going to need to heal. Oh, man. Stoli's the one who needs to heal. Or I run people back. I don't have any other way to heal. Right. Right. Um. Noiki, I'm going to need you to gather up some healing plants. Shoot. Okay, let's build that dispensary then. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's sacrifice some resources for a dispensary. Oh god. Where am I gonna put that? Um Right there. The resources that I need are right there, but I'm also building it all right on top. Are there, is there any other is there any other place right there, but there's nothing 
even close. This is just a bad map. All right. I'm, I'm constructing it on top. I'm sacrificing it. That's fine. Whatever. My two food generators. Oh, no! He died from being starvation! <laughs> oh, no! Who else is sick? Who's close? Everybody else is close. I need that dispensary so I can heal people. Oh, no. That means my hunter is out of the loop as well, which means I need to send somebody else to go hunt. Oh, no. Which means my wool... Uh-oh. One pupil... Oh, all right. She's done. Um... Yeah, gather the spices. I need to get some so I can heal. I wonder if I could swap cooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna send you over here. And I'm gonna send you down here. Yeah, because my herbalist... Uh-oh. Which building collapsed? Which building's out of order? Uh, which building's out of order? No accommodation required for pupils working in this building. You know, that'd be great. That would be fantastic if I hadn't just lost somebody. I can't believe he's dead. I can't believe I wasn't paying any attention to his health bar and now he's dead. All right. I need somebody harvesting and I need... Oh, no. We're back to this. They're going to die. They are going to die. Yeah. Um... <laughs> They're going to die. She's going to starve. She's going to starve to death. They're all going to die. Oh, God. This sucks. I was hoping that I could get him to heal, but... They're gonna die. Yep, that's it. I screwed up. You take with you the last glimmers of the spirits that inhabited them. You tried to guide them to carry on. Uh, you take with you the last glimmers of the spirits that inhabited them. You tried to guide them to carry them. You give them the right directions and the right actions. The result of your vain attempts is in front of you. you see their clothes washed up on the plains, the mountains, in the forests. You could left them if you did not, in turn, become so weak. You feel that your reason for being takes you elsewhere. Another tribe awaits you. Well, great. Fantastic. Ugh, I was doing well there until the end. Anyways, that's a uh, quick look at the demo as far as the eye. It's uh, fun. I'm definitely going to keep an eye out it for it in the future. Anyways, that's the end of this demo and the end of this episode. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next demo, stay safe and God bless you.